Welcome to this video. In this example, I'm going to show you how you can add additional responses after your DOE or optimization has been evaluated. Here we have a DOE where our evaluations have been done successfully. And now we would like to add an additional response. For the moment, we have this tree and let's say I want to add a fourth response. You can add this additional response by using the h3d file or you can add a mathematical function. Let's say we want to add the element strings. So the new response is added here and when we evaluate we will see the value but the question is can I extract the values of the strings for all the DOE runs? Well, yes, you can, and you go into evaluation data, and you'll see the new response you have added. It is visible here, but the values aren't because they haven't been extracted. To extract the results, we go into evaluation task, and we disable write input files and execute analysis, and then we evaluate the task. It will only perform the extraction task, and it will get the values for all the runs without running the whole DOE again. So here we can see the extract results. Now let's see how we can do this for our optimization. In the same way as in DOE, we have already evaluated our optimization and we want to add a new response. So we can do the same by using our h3d file and or we can do a mathematical expression, which is what we are going to do now. For instance, let's say we want the sum of max displacement plus max stress. And again, we go to evaluation data. And we can see the new response here without the values because they haven't been struck. So we go to evaluation task and we only enable extract output responses. We evaluate the task, and in the same way, it will only perform the extraction task. And it will get you the values for your forward response. A quick note here is that you can extract the results for an additional response, but what you cannot do is to assign a new goal to this new response, because this um, becomes a different optimization problem because previously it has been run with respect to these two goals, so you can only extract the results for this new response. But if you want to assign a goal to this new response, HyperStudy will tell you that this change will invalidate your results. And this is true because we will be dealing with a different optimization problem. Thank you for watching this video.